Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your email address on the Strava application. So first of all, of course, make sure to go and open your phone or tablet, whatever it is. And of course, make sure to go and open the Strava application if you already have it downloaded into your phone. Of course, if you don't, you will have to go and download it through Play Store if you're using an Android, App Store if you're using an iPhone or any other store you could be possibly using. Of course, if you have an account already, once you open it, you'll have just to log in into your account. But of course, if you don't have an account, you'll have to create one. They give you three options. The option of creating your account with Facebook, with Google or even with your email. Of course, just choose whatever you want and once you sign up, or log in into your account, you'll find yourself here with this home page or this main screen. And of course, here you will find just the segments or the posts of you that you posted already. Of course, you can edit them, post a new post, and etc. But what I would like to show you in this tutorial is just how to change your email. So, of course, if you want to do that, I would like to click at you here at the bottom right corner and then click at the top right corner settings option. Once you are here, you will find this option on the account section, which is change email. Of course, just click here. And before changing your email, you will have to, of course, remember your password. And of course, you can just delete the old email. And let's say as an example, this is my new email, this at gmail.com. And of course, you'll have to set your password here as an example. Let's say as an example, it's gonna be like random things. And once I finish, I will have to click at the save option and I'm going to be good to go. Make sure to remember this password so you don't uh, lose it or you can even write on a sheet of paper or something like that. And as I said, when you finish, click at save button and you will be good to go. So that's all be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.